Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, yesterday night, William Zapeda comprehensively beat Jojo Diaz by a wide, unanimous decision. The scorecards basically gave him a couple of rounds. I think two, uh, no, I think two scorecards only gave Jojo Diaz one round and quite frankly that is the fight in which I saw I felt that William Zapeda pretty much bossed this fight from start to finish. He comprehensively outworked and I would say outboxed Jojo Diaz in this bout. Jojo Diaz had a, had a few moments here and there. Uh, he would counter William Zapeda on the odd occasion. I think people got quite excited in one of the mid rounds where he caught Zapeda with a counter right hand, which somewhat wobbled Zapeda, but honestly, I don't think Zapeda was all of that hurt. I think it was more of a balance issue. He was get he was getting a bit overzealous, and yeah, he got caught. But ultimately, uh, William Zapeda in this fight, he bossed it, and um, you know that's no mean feat against Jojo Diaz. I appreciate Jojo Diaz. He's not a natural lightweight, and we've been saying that for quite some time now. Um, but when you look at Jojo Diaz and the other two guys who beat him, Gary Russell and uh, Devin Haney, you know, nobody's washed Jojo like William Zapeda just did. Um, and again, you know, it has to be it has to be said, Jojo's not a lightweight. Uh, maybe he doesn't have the hunger in which he once had. But again, arguably the most decisive loss of Jojo Diaz's career and yeah, I felt this fight was, um, I felt Zapeda showcased some of his boxing skills. At the start of this year, end of last year, I labelled William Zapeda as one of the guys to watch out for in 2022. And this year, he's picked up a couple of decent wins against Rene Alvarado, who's a, who's a tough trial horse. I felt, honestly, I felt Zapeda should have done better in that fight. But now he's beaten Jojo Diaz, who is still a contender, I guess. At lightweight, um, so he's right. In, he's right in the mix now. In 2022, he is one of the top contenders within the weight class, I would say. And going forwards, I think William Zapeda can be involved in some really good fights. First and foremost, he's a big lightweight at five foot nine. He's a big lightweight, and that in itself, in my in my opinion, will be a big factor in his potential success in the lightweight division. Combine that with the fact that he's a southpaw. And he's a guy who throws a lot of punches, can be very aggressive, but he does have technical skills. I think we saw in this Jojo Diaz fight at times, I felt he was very poised. I felt he was boxing well with his straight punches, uh, keeping, keeping Jojo at arm's length while applying effective pressure. And he can also mix it up. He's got really good punch variety. He's a good body puncher, nice uppercuts through the middle. A good one too, out of that southpaw stance. One thing I would have liked to have seen more of in the Jojo fight was his right hook out of that southpaw stance, because Zapeda does have a really good right hook, and I think he should have used it a bit more against uh, Jojo Diaz, especially getting round that sort of compact guard of Diaz, you know. Um, I think that would have been a good shot for him, but he was content to keep it um, to primarily throw combinations with straight punches. And yeah, he was way too much for uh, Jojo Diaz. Uh, he caused a bit of damage on Jojo. I think he kind of drained his drained his gas tank, kind of took his heart. And Jojo was really content to survive. Again, at, at times, Jojo would explode into life with some good combinations. He would catch William Zapeda when Zapeda was getting a bit too confident. And that is one thing that Zapeda does do. Sometimes he'll square up when he's throwing his shots, particularly his... Um, his uh, crooked arm shots, he'll square up. And he has been caught in the past in those moments. In fact, a couple of fights ago, he was actually dropped by a relatively unknown guy. So Zapeda has flaws defensively. Uh, sometimes he does get in a bit, a bit of a one-paced rhythm, I would say. Sometimes you watch him and you think to yourself, there's another gear here that he's not showing or, or he can't get to when he should be getting to it. And Jojo was a good was a good example of that, uh, considering how he dominated this fight and he won basically every round. Maybe 
you know, he, he should have really been closer to getting the stoppage, opening up Jojo and really penetrating that tight guard. Um, but yeah, I mean, Zapeda, in my opinion, does have skills. He, he does have technique. And ultimately, I think there's a lot to work with there. Um, I, th I, I, I think the Jojo Diaz fight came at the right time. Uh, Jojo's a tough guy. He can go rounds, been, been at the top level for a long time. And I think this fight showed us uh, more of what Zapeda does have in the locker. And yeah, he, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I still don't think he's there yet. For me at least, again, I'll say it again, but it, it, it feels like there's more to come with William Zapeda. Uh, it, it feels like there's more to come, but ultimately he's a big lightweight. Uh, when you look at the lightweight division, he is one of the biggest at 5'9". Uh, really fills out as well, carries power, maintains good punch output good stamina, you know, and, on, you know, he's got good variety with his work, southpaw as well, so I think this guy naturally is going to give a lot of guys uh, trouble within the lightweight division, uh, he's a golden boy fighter, so where does he go from here, I mean, there's a lot of guys in the lightweight division who I would like to see him fight, you know, he's not going to get a title shot anytime soon, uh, because it looks like Lomachenko and Devin Haney are fighting, Tank Davis is going to do Tank Davis uh, with a regular title. So if I was managing Zapeda, I would have him in there with the likes of Zawa Abdulayev in his next fight. How about Jermaine Ortiz, who recently lost to Lomachenko? I think that'll be a great fight. William Zapeda versus Jermaine Ortiz. Maybe the zone could feed Maxi Hughes to William Zapeda. These are the sort of guys who I would have Zapeda fight next. Keep him busy, keep him active, and ultimately try to position him into a mandatory spot within one of these sanctioning bodies. And also there's a possibility that, um, who knows, in, in the near future, that these belts become fragmented and they are vacated. So yeah, they, they need to make sure Zapeda is in position to get one of those title shots. Because, you know, I think he'll give most guys trouble Within, within the lightweight division. Honestly, I don't see anybody having an easy time with him. I'm not saying he beats all of the elite guys within the division, but would I be surprised if he could pull off an upset and beat one of these guys? Not really. Not really. Um, and again, the thing for me is, I just feel there's another level that he's not got to yet. So William Zapeda is a guy who is worth keeping an eye on within the lightweight division. I'll tell you who he reminds me of in, in regards to style. He reminds me of a less refined Errol Spence Jr. How he fights out of that southpaw stance, how he can go to the body, how he's really um, developing that jab and working off it. He reminds me a little of Errol Spence Jr. Not just, just in terms of style. I'm not saying he's as good or will be as good, but just in terms of style, he reminds me of Errol Spence quite a lot. And yeah, I think he is, um, I think he's definitely a bit of a problem within the lightweight division. An another fight that would be great, I know this is not going to happen, because he's with, with a PBC, but William Zapeda versus Isaac Cruz. That would be a hell of a fight for the lightweight division. But anyway, share your thoughts below. What did you make of William Zapeda's performance? I felt he looked good, uh... I would have said it was a great performance if he scored the stoppage. That wasn't the case. So for me, a good solid 8 out of 10 performance by William Zapeda. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.